Had to be suspicious. <laughs> Accuser of the fucking brethren, you motherfucker! <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm pissed because you believe me. No, that's good enough, brother. <laughs> You're an accuser. Accuser of the brethren. I'm fucking dairy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Myers lady. Imagine her in bed. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Welcome back! To the Jonathan. Fuck yeah! It's a Saturday night. And we're doing what we do best: shooting the shit. Jeff, Frankie, and Sean here, back in the den. Gentlemen, how the fuck are we doing today? Doing great. Watch my video quick. How my punches? What? Better than Stephen A's? Who? You? <laughs> <laughs> dude, you guys he's, he's got the dude. Stephen A's got the the perfect fucking oh, yeah, perfect God. fucking perfect fucking form. Cock punch, uppercut, cock punch, uppercut. Why do they call you cock knock? <laughs> well, funny, funny story. story. <laughs> oh, cock punch, then uppercut. I mean, we don't get paid anyway. Can we please put up to Stephen A. punching? Frankie, did you even see this? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Get ready for a special I treat. Like, oh. <clears throat> I don't like that, man. Well, it, you're you the, do a great impression of him after you listen to him for a while. <laughs> I think I Mario Chalmers. <laughs> Let's see this. Wait till you see this punching. I don't know where he's. He is the new cock knocker. Hang on a second. I gotta. Uh, he's. <laughs> I, I gotta. I gotta kill the sound. <laughs> <where he could. laughs> How are you? How was you guys this week? As he loads us up. Uh, it was good, man. I uh, got a root canal on Monday, and my mm. dog. And my dog got his shots and microchipped. So, yeah, good times. With the both his balls. He still have balls. He still got the nuts. <laughs> the, nut, the nuts are coming soon. So, uh, All yeah. right. Stephen A. Smith. Hitting mitts. Here we go, Frankie. What do you think of that technique? Ready? Cock punch, uppercut. <laughs> Cock punch, uppercut. What is with this uppercut? Cock punch, <laughs> uppercut. Why is he throwing the left down? He's, it's a cock punch, uppercut. If, so, let's say there's one guy. To the left and to the right of them. One of them's getting a dick, <laughs> dick punch. The other one's getting hit in the face. It's a, co- it's a co- <laughs> cock punch uppercut. Who is his trainer? I don't know, but that dude wasn't teaching him fucking right at all. Stephen A's probably paying that dude so much hour. money <laughs> for the cock punch uppercut combo. I'm fucking in, dude. I'm in. I mean, Ditka Jesus is in too. <sighs> By the way, uh, PBR Hard Coffee, go pick some up. It's fucking delicious. Are you liking it, bro? It's alcoholic Yoohoo. It is yeah. really good. If you like the chocolate thick milk oh. mixed with alcohol, <laughs> this is for you. It's, it's supposed to be coffee flavor. There's like a pinch of coffee flavor, but it tastes like Yoohoo with rum. <clears throat> I hate my, coffee. I like and coffee I with it. a lot of sugar and cream. That's not coffee. F- Frankie. We had this conversation. We, we were, when does it stop being coffee and starts being cappuccino? <laughs> it's <laughs> good question. If, what if, is the amount of sugar and creamer? I wonder how many seconds. Put you it this way: four in seconds, right? What, four in seconds. When I when I drink coffee, I I drink black coffee. I don't put anything in it. Oh, I don't, oh just so you like your men. I, <laughs> how I like my women, ground up and in my freezer. Black and strong. <laughs> no, if you put in, you know. 12 creamer packets and 15 packets of sugar. You're not drinking coffee. You're drinking creamer and sugar with a little bit of fucking coffee for the caffeine boost. But you can't say you like coffee when you put that much shit in it. Cause exactly. Because you, you don't like the coffee taste, yeah. so that's why you're putting uh, all that shit in it. Exactly. I'll, I'll argue this Go ahead. And, and tell you why you're wrong. Okay. All right. I'll be wrong if you make a good point. All right. So, <clears throat> which these come fear and far between for you. So <laughs> let's, let's be better fucking sell it. Are we about so, to enter the stone zone? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the pre-stone stone zone. Yeah. All right. So this is called the bull pack. <laughs> this is the, this is, the, this is the joint roll. Your, your coffee, right? And you make your coffee a certain way. It's the same thing as saying like, I'm going out and I'm going to get a steak. Well, you could you could serve that steak so many different ways, and sometimes people will say you don't do that to a steak. But if that's how you prepare it, and that's how you want to eat it, 
then you consume it in any way you want. It's still considered that because that's the base of it. It's coffee with cream and sugar. It's it's a steak with onions. It's a steak with peppers. It's a steak with mushrooms. What, mushrooms or what seasoning? Ketchup. It's an additive. Just because Ketchup. you're like yes, right. Like people would be like, what the fuck? People are like that religiously with their hot dogs. So I mean, just because you say, oh, that's not a hot dog because you put ketchup on it, doesn't mean it's not a hot dog. It's still a hot dog, but you put your condiments or your. So explain to me how you drink your coffee. I just said it. He sips it through his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, with my lips. no, no. How much creamer it's do you put coolest. in? How much? How much? I don't know. When I go to the place, how many seconds? So I don't. I don't really like to make my own too much. Um, so where do you go to get your coffee? <laughs> Duncan. You're probably. Duncan. Well, yeah. number one, I like you're getting you your just, coffee in the right spot. I like I how you just said Duncan. Congratulations not, to you. Yeah, it's not called the other one. It's um, not D and D anymore. Yeah. Duncan. Donuts. But they still have the cups. I like the cups that have the pictures on it because it's kind of cool because they have a picture of America, and then they got a little guy running. It says <laughs> Duncan. Duncan on it, and they're on top of it. So <laughs> you're running. America's running on Duncan. It's okay. such a okay. So when you go to cup. when you when you pull up to Duncan. And, and, and they make it a, a large hot coffee with cream and sugar. Sometimes do they make it right though? No, you gotta never. Add more? I never. Never do. So sometimes <laughs> it's different every time. Sometimes you got to go extra you have to cream, act, extra sugar. You ask for ask extra. Uh, it kind of depends on the Duncan. Or do you have like a supply in your? Do, no, I'll just drink what it color? It is. Like what color is your? Coffee? I don't know. I don't take the cap off. <laughs> when it's done, I no. I, I, I mean, the, is it the lighter the better for you? Um, you like some light coffee. No, I like it more in like I would say a, a good medium where it's got a little bit, little bit where you can see the darkness to it, but it's got just a little bit of light. So you tint. want more sugar than cream in your coffee? Uh, you want more of the sweetness over the the uh, bitterness of the coffee? Mm, actually, I probably would prefer more cream than sugar. Cause so you want it lighter? I guess, but I don't use that much cream. I guess. So you you don't want it Wesley Snipes? You want it more like? That's dark coffee. Like Rihanna? <laughs> like that caramel color? Um, I go a little more like Queen Latifah. Or you like that Sammy Sosa. Oh, yeah. no, that's 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 real <laughs> like, light. Like like, like Sammy Sosa. That's like baby Michael. No, that's like Like Sammy Sosa ninety seven or Sammy Sosa now. Yeah. What are you talking here? I mean How do you like your coffee. What year is Sammy Sosa? <laughs> 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 Can I get the uh two thousand three Sammy Sosa? <laughs> Yeah, steroid era uh, Sammy Sosa. That would be a good flavor. Nah, yeah, I, I like I like some of the mocha. So like, I'm not gonna lie, my still if I have a choice out of everything, I love when you can go to the shitty gas station coffee and get out of the machine where you get the, the French uh, vanilla, French vanilla cappuccino. That's that's what I like, but it's got to be the powder one where it drops the powder in there and then it mixes it and it's like real shitty. That's that's the. That's the best one to me. That's the best coffee I prefer to drink. That Does it work, vanilla. though? Cappuccino. I've never drank coffee, so I don't know. Or is it more a placebo effect? Like, do no. you feel it? Yeah, you know why I get... You get I, that juiced up feeling? Like, <laughs> you're heading into work, and you're tired, and you have that coffee. You know like, what that's it does the saying, like, don't talk like, to me until I've had my coffee. Is well, that true? It warms me up. I don't like cold coffee. So it's like a nice hug. But, it, it yeah, it gets my blood... Flowing and you take a nice, healthy shit after you drink your cup? Because mm. that's what I do. I drink my a nice, so strong cup black. of coffee. Yep. So yeah, I was going to say. It, I finished that maybe cup. Maybe there's a difference. I finished that cup. You shit? Is, I, mean, I was going to say. like it, Empties it'll, out it, from well, my <laughs> neck down. <laughs> it'll definitely make you like take a shit sometimes. But like at the same time, eh, it doesn't like, hit you like every time religiously. Like, oh, I'm going to have my coffee and take a shit. Yeah. I, it doesn't work like that like for me. Because I'll drink coffee every day. And it's I don't have to like blow up the bathroom afterwards I but there are some it, days man. like you wake up and you feel fine and you have a cup of coffee and you're like oh i'll be back in about 20 minutes <laughs> yeah it's a uh it like i said it all depends on what you ate the night before yeah i think that has a lot to do with it too so but I, I like yeah. coffee i like the fact yeah. that it warms you up and gets you moving and motivated and kind of kind of rolling i think it's more of the placebo effect mm. to be honest i promise you if you it, drink like three french vanilla yeah. cappuccinos Dude, I bet you you'll be running around. So this much sugar. <laughs> that's so much sugar. That's so much sugar. Doesn't matter though, but I, I mean I've done it. I mean, we'll go out uh you know, snowboarding or something. I'll grab a French vanilla cappuccino in the morning and in the afternoon or 
Even <clears throat> what I forget what we were drinking with uh, hot chocolate. Oh, you like hot twatties. Um, peppermint schnapps, your favorite. You drink it like it's fucking. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, you putting peppermint schnapps in hot chocolate. That's you could put fucking any kind of liquor. It's like in hot mixing chocolate, that's all good. the Christmas shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's <laughs> Santa Claus jizzing in your mouth. Did right I there. ever? <laughs> did I ever talk about on here where where we were up in the UP and Jeff faked this out and we had a couple bottles of that because he loved it with like hot chocolate. And the doc- he had a I, bottle, the doctors. and I thought, I swear to God, I saw him open it, and he starts chugging this bottle, and next thing you know, he's about halfway through it, and I'm like, dude, no, stop. Somebody stop him. Yeah, like, there's, like, a video of this happening, and I'm like, dude, somebody stop him. So, yeah, like, I pulled a prank on these guys. I had a fresh bottle. I just bought a fresh bottle of Dr. McGillicuddy's, and I had the bottle from the night before. You know, saved up. So I filled it up with water, and I go outside, and I acted like I cracked a fresh one. And I was like, how much to chug this whole fucking thing? And I'm like, I I'm not paying you anything because I want some. And then, like, he's halfway through it, and I'm, like, holding the video camera. Someone just thought I was going to die. Yeah, I didn't Yeah, I didn't want you to fucking. It was a friend test, and you passed because you're like, save him. For real. You're, I'm, I'm, I let you go pretty far, halfway of a bottle. You did. You were you were pretty far gone right there. I handled there, it fine. I guess. Was water. That, that was, was a, a pretty wild weekend. That was we, almost as good as the night we drank the bottle of rumple mints on an empty stomach, oh, and then uh, went to. That was smart. That was. I hate rumple. You want to talk about some fucking peppermint. time traveling? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Through black holes and all. I, what's the worst you've ever felt? Is that it? Like drunk wise? Yeah. Like what's the worst liquor? Like worst hangovers? Worst worst drunk? You've ever oh, I got had alcohol liquor. poisoning in high school. Yeah. What was that? Soco? No. I was drinking Soco yeah. out of a cereal bowl. The cereal bowl of Soco. Yeah. I was fucking sick for three days. Worst hangover I ever got. High life out of a can. And I drank just like, one. No, I drank. Made like, you sick, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> no, I I drank I drank a, a fair amount. I was I was young. I was probably seventeen. I remember it was at my neighbor's house of beers oh so bad come on and i crawled home i was so drunk i crawled home from my neighbor's <laughs> house to my house i got it he thought he was on the beach in normandy <laughs> <laughs> i mom i had to mom, get there's box going off i had to, i had to get up the next day and work at the uh, concession stand at the beach oh, oh no so it was your 90 off. 90 <laughs> degrees i'm burping highlight oh, no, no matter what i ate i still tasted that tinny canned high life taste i ate a fucking pretzel with i was gonna i was like oh man i should do a pretzel and some mustard and i did that and Soak i was up like this beer i did that i'm like nope 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 that's one thing i well you can continue i got a story about a pretzel <laughs> go ahead. Oh, pretzel huh <laughs> those soft pretzels you get yeah. at like sporting events yeah I love you them. have to get Salt on them, right? Yeah. I can't do the no salt. It's just too plain. Yeah. Unless there's all, cheese. There's, there's always, always a lot of cheese. It's always too much salt. You got to scrape off. Exactly. Scrape it off. <laughs> you <gotta> scrape <laughs> you off. give it the little <laughs> finger trick. Not too rough. You got to be gentle right. with it because you want to scrape off too much salt. Yeah. <laughs> you want so half your plastic tin is it's salt. <laughs> fucking salt. You're just dipping that bastard in the cheddar. The cheddar. <laughs> I think a pret- soft pretzel in nachos is a must at any kind of, of sporting event, carnival, anything like that. It's it's carnivals. Funnel cake is a must. At a funnel carnival. and, and wait, wait, the fresh wait, 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 squeezed wait, wait, wait. lemonade. Please inform me more of what this uh, a funnel cake. Funnel cake. Is. Funnel cake. It's cake a, of the funnel. It's tell basically me. deep fried. Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. I've American, never had one. American dough. I've never had. I've fryer, never had a funnel cake. And then you put the powder sugar. You've never sugar. had a funnel, Not, funnel cake. For real, I haven't. Really? It's like an elephant ear. Basically called as well, right? Yeah. Just splattered in. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm all right. I, I was called Dumbo you, a lot. God, I haven't had one in so long. Do you dip them? I don't remember. Is there dipping? It's powdered sugar, sugar on it's, it. It's usually right, powdered sugar. Know, but is there anything ripped. to dip? Oh. Sometimes they what do have strawberry. Fucking, ooh. Strawberries? If they had like See, a, I was a fan of Dumbo, and I was called Dumbo a lot. And then when someone said you're going to eat elephant ears, not doing it. No, oh, so no, they didn't call you Dumbo. They called you dumbass. There's a difference. <laughs> no, I had big ears. My head was. I did too. Yeah, but I, I had grew a, into them. Yeah, I had a tiny head with big ears. Your head was average. What? You you had a bowl haircut too. <laughs> no, you? I did have my average size head with big ears. Yes, I, you I had a tiny growing? head. I had a little tiny head with giant giant ears. <laughs> They're still big. You couldn't see. <laughs> you could see these cans. That's where he hides them. <laughs> Careful! No, put them back up. Oh. 
God. Yeah, your head grew into your ears. Yeah, no, I got a big a head beautiful with head. in it. With your, <laughs> with your Chris Bryan haircut. Yeah. It's the, the Just give early, me the Chris Bryan special. Huh? The early starts of the, the better, mullet. You better get it in now. The I can't believe you got that beautiful Chris Bryan haircut and you still haven't got a Tinder profile picture yet. <laughs> You're single in 2020. I need a black and white. You should be white. crushing it. I want to get a black and white You're a picture. Beautiful I don't man. know who does black and white You're a beautiful man pictures. with a beautiful haircut. Why aren't you out there? You know? Why aren't you swinging? swinging. Guys. You're swinging. But I, here I, you are on a Saturday night dicking around in my garage. It looks like Sean's got his hand <laughs> on your dick right now. Maybe. Just saying, from my angle over here, he's got a whole lot of dick hand oh, going on. Uh, don't stop. Baby. See, for everyone watching. Oh. <laughs> See, this is why I come here. <laughs> and a dreamless. Yeah, riders. all over my head. <laughs> Cross country skiing. <laughs> God See, damn champion. Uh, fucking bearded oil. Amateur bull rider, bro. Never made it longer than eight seconds. How dare you? <laughs> Jizz. So, did you see the new Jizz. the new uh, thing going around on the old uh, interwebs? I don't go on it. Tell me, please. Where is it? It's the four pictures, and it says Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Twitter and Tinder. Yeah. So it's like, you know, your Insta your, or LinkedIn. So you're like in your What's suit. LinkedIn? That's like. He was a 16th president, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's LinkedIn. Oh. <laughs> Link, LinkedIn is your professional profile for oh. like when you're looking for new jobs and shit. So you you got your like professional shot where you got your suit on or you oh, look yeah. good. This then doesn't you get, count as a job? Then you got your face. <laughs> kind of. Then you got your Facebook picture, which is usually you doing something fun. Then you got your Instagram picture, which is your modeling shot for oh, some yeah. of these fucking people. And then the third one's your Tinder picture, which is obviously you got your shirt wide open or you're fucking you're putting out the vibe. You know what I mean? You're putting you're putting uh -huh. out the vibe. Speaking of putting out the vibes, that's how my daughter was born. Hello, sweet angel. Oh, really? Just so post it up. So now that she the, couldn't resist. That's me. the new thing. And there, there's millions of these pictures all together. Come say hi, and then you gotta go back inside. You gotta go to bed. It's late. Say hi. No, <laughs> the I most unshy know. little girl is so shy. So that's the new uh, stupid on the internet. That doesn't make sense to me. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't understand the internet. Yeah, we all know. Not that I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Like, what's the crazy about putting all those pictures up? Like, what is, what it, is it? It's because it's showing your diversity. And what it's really showing is you look like a fucking asshole. Yeah, all the different ways I can <laughs> All act. the different ways I look like an asshole on right. the internet. Well, look at this douchebag picture of me that I took in a bathroom. Yeah, look at the... My favorite is the fucking mirror selfies. Yeah. Every asshole taking a picture So what do you do like for your, your, like, business one? Do you make it look like, you know what I mean, like you got friends? Well, no. Like it, someone took a picture of me in a professional manner? No, your business one is more of you're in your, like, a suit and tie. You look, you're cleaned up, you're shaved. So any picture of me at a wedding? No, because usually <laughs> you're cross-eyed as fuck and drooling on yourself. No, I'm not. I got these glasses on. You can't even tell. I got these glasses on at work 24-7, Stu. So. Stu? Stu? No, Stu's not here. Stu's at home. No, 24 times and twos. <laughs> the English language is butchering it. Is best. English. I'm speaking it. So, yeah, it's it's just one of the new crazes. It's it's like when planking was a thing. What was planking? You know, where you, they'd plank. I mean, it's like the exercise planking? No, or they just like lay flat with their face down with their arm like on a table. There was like a fucking three month fucking thing where everybody was planking everywhere. Jeff, you remember planking? <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean the is hot, wrong. The hot um, fad? Yeah, that's basically That's like T bowing. Remember when T bowing was yeah. all the rage? Uh, or faith healing? Uh, Faith Hilling? I don't remember Faith Hilling. Faith, faith, <laughs> faith, faith, faith Hilling was a South Park joke. It went from their nipples are always hard? Yeah. Faith I'm not Hilling. mad at that. Yeah. Well, it's, no, I, don't I wish more girls would. Faith Hill? Hill the right. Faith. <laughs> 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 just, just say no, fuck. No, planking, yeah. It was fucking all the rage. Yeah. It's crazy how these fads just show up and then disappear. Oh. Just like Tim Tebow. So at the beginning of the podcast, we played a clip from a lady losing her shit at Meyer. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, go <laughs> Google lady losing her shit at Myers. That's that's that, uh, and that and actually she happened. In loved Michigan. herself some Jesus. 
But <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. The yeah. best part about that is she's just like, repent your sins, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. It's like, what church are you going to, lady? I don't know. I don't she's get it. To spread the good Lord. I mean, word. technically, I'm an ordained minister, but I mean, if I'm holding church and I'm repent your sins, motherfucker. I'm not mad at her, bro. Oh, she's leaving. just doing the Lord's work and spreading the she spreading is. the good word. You know what? Preach, baby. Right? You preach. Yes. Are you Ooh. accusing me, you fucking accuser? Maybe fucking he, was. he was an accuser. <laughs> but didn't she say, did she you assume, I assume my gender at No, it was something about you shouldn't. It, she didn't say that. Because exactly. he said ma'am. He yes. said ma'am. And she, she didn't say Don't something assume about my title. Yeah, yeah like did that. you assume my title? The best part was when she was talking about how she could be thrown in jail and do the rest of her life without parole. Right. And she'd still be better off than you cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Repent. It's, it's, uh, I love the amount of crazy there is in the world. And, and by that, I mean crazy, it like, just makes non-violent. makes me feel better about myself. Not, non-violent crazy. Yeah, not the running your yeah, fucking not, car into a crowd. Yeah, or not. Some weird Yeah, not, not shit, going into a church and I'm shooting telling the place you, up. I know that that was on multiple occasions, but that means on multiple occasions that chick was doing crack. Dude, no, that chick is just crazy. <laughs> My grandma, because she did crack for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Is that probably five minutes before she walked in the store? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't. My grandma had the best line of all time. Anytime, like, something would happen, we'd be like, Jesus Christ. My grandma would always say, there's always a nut around. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. There always, always is. There's always a nut around. Usually it's one of you two. Oh, Words to live by. Big sports yeah, news. Yeah. Tim Tebow is no longer a virgin. He got married and... God damn right he did. Fucking fired that fucking... Stop it. So I don't understand that. You have to wait until you're married, right? Yeah. For the sacred vow. Yeah. And now, once they get divorced, it's free range. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking... Yeah, (laughs) But you don't get divorced. That's not... It's not a lot. You're not supposed to get divorced unless they die. You know, you're also not supposed to, uh, you know... Mix fabrics and shit. Yeah, so. you're not you're not supposed to have uh, you're not supposed to eat shrimp either. So <laughs> that's what I love. All these people that you know, if you want to believe, that's fine. I'm not knocking it, but yeah. you can't you can't hate other people for what they want to do. If some guy right. wants to marry another dude, it doesn't mean he's not going to the same place you are. Oh like, oh no, I do the Bible by the book. You gays can't get fucking married. Yeah. Well, but- then if you're reading the book, then you can't eat shrimp. And wear cotton with fucking corduroy, yeah. <laughs> son of a bitch. Well, and that's also <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like the lady that was in a. Uh, when is corduroy coming back? It's it's back it's right back. now. Hipsters, brought you're it bringing back. it back. Your mullet, mullet and, and corduroy. corduroy jacket. I don't have. If you have the elbow, you gotta get the elbow patches though. Elbow patches. What if you got here's it might be a tongue twister. A uh, corduroy. What is it called? God, I can't. I forgot it now. Cock flap. Cardigan. <laughs> Corduroy <laughs> cardigan. Corduroy cardigan. Pull over. Yeah. No, it's a cardigan. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> I'm going to get a corduroy cardigan. <laughs> Good luck finding one of those. <laughs> no. I, what do you anything on the internet. The the Bible is the most uh, sure. I forget about that thing every time. Misquoted book in history. Well, who even knows? Well, no, but what I'm saying is people take parts and pieces, and that's what they've you know, build their life up upon. So you got, oh, right here in the Bible it says gay Man, shouldn't get I'm married. I'm way too fucked up to get into all this right now. <laughs> Let's get into it, bro. I don't, I don't, Let's dive uh, deep. But, but what I'm, all I'm saying is this. If you live a fucking good life, you'll end up in a good place. There you go. If you don't hate, you don't murder. Not according to hey, my we're all looking. My we're all looking for the, the adrenaline rush in life, right? Yeah. This is it, man. We're living it. You, what did that guy unknown. say? This is this you're is, looking for the yeah. unknown every, in everything. I'm gonna go on this there's roller coaster. No sequel. I don't know what's gonna happen. There's no sequel. No Rick, sequel. Ricky Gervais. Yes, yeah. There's no sequel. We don't know what's gonna happen. So if you're thinking, I lived a lot of my life like that when I was younger, thinking like, well, I gotta be a good person because I gotta fucking. You're looking at the finish line. You're not f- focusing on what's the present. Right. But you know what? I'm glad that I was a good person when I was younger. The problem is with that, no, nobody knows. Right. No one knows. No one knows anything, so that's what I'm there saying. There could be a heaven. There could be a hell. Right. Or the lights, go, or the lights the... go off and it's over. Right. right. Or 
You get reincarnated. I'm saying we go straight up in the cosmos, bro. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> there. Scared. That's what I'm saying. I don't even want to get into this. I'm too far in the cosmos. Stop that. Afternoon delight. Okay, so since he's already in the cosmos, should we enter the stone zone? Stone zone. Zone zone zone, 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 zone. It's just a quick thought I had the other day. So I was driving in my truck, and I went past the, a Walmart, and I was like, okay, I seen the signs. They have the different sections, the grocery, mm-hmm. you know, the other shit, market. Yeah. And uh, I was like, when homeless people go to Walmart, do they go to the outdoor living section? <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the stone zone, zone, oh, zone, zone, zone. No, I don't think they go to the outdoor living department. I'm pretty sure they go to any department inside. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's all either food or the shitter. Yeah. I just think of like a butt, you know. Homeless person just rolls up. Hmm, outdoor living. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> this Don't place is perfect you. for me. <laughs> just goes in, grabs one of the lawn chairs. I could just make a little nook over here behind these boxes. <laughs> just think about it, though. You're getting all your furniture made for the outdoor elements. It's what you exactly. need. Exactly. You don't want to go inside. Those right. chairs aren't made for snow They're and not salt. lasting. No. <laughs> one, s- one spring of, of rain. <laughs> Right, and that chair that is couch rusted. is fucked. You need that plastic. You need that that lawn furniture. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, no. If you're homeless, though, you're always moving, so you want to have. You need a foldable chair. You yeah, foldable you can chair, just find a lawn, a one-person tent to put it on. Yeah. Just think of those. Just think of those old. Um, remember when we were kids, and you'd go to the beach, and they'd have those like. Folding lawn chairs and it was three. Yeah, the three section. And it was like, yeah. That never like a, sat right. Yeah, it's like, and you were always trying to adjust it. <laughs> and then you had to go all the way up yep. to get it to go <laughs> back down. Because if you went too far, you'd be yeah. like, fuck. Uh, see, I'm and, not going to lie. I'd love one of those now because I'd put that, I'd be like a cot. And the thing is with that chair, too, is in the click in that in between areas where you want to be, but there's yeah. no click for that in between area. So it's either <laughs> right. you're sitting there's straight up <laughs> or you're fucking <laughs> laying back too much. down. Like it's, the sun's right there. I want it that perfect. You want to go into the stone zone? Again? Oh, no. what do we got? I lo- I, this is one thing I do love. I was just like. What about your rain? Do you guys don't ever just drive around and think random thoughts? That yeah, was like my random right, thought. No, I just had a random thought. All right, let's hear my it. arm. Yes. And I was looking at no, my No, you were too. showing off the guns on yeah, the camera. Yeah, I had to stretch my arm off real quick. I don't quick. I need off of my left. How I get my left. That's yeah. called the strangest. <laughs> but when I was scratching my arm, I, I looked at the tattoo on it, and I do get questions sometimes. What does that tattoo say on your arm? And I love to answer people and tell them nothing. <laughs> and they're like, What does your tattoo say? No, I say? see nothing. Yeah, no, I. you have a tattoo. What does it say? Exactly. No, it says nothing. <laughs> It's, Show the camera. What is your back? You can't see. It. What is the tattoo on your the, back? Say, the dude, you have a tattoo nothing. on your back. The so tattoo weird. says nothing. They want to know what it means. I got regurts on this side, <laughs> but not, not a single letter. But no, 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 <laughs> not a single one. Side. No, not even a single letter. Oh, regurts is right. Movie reference. Yeah, movie regurts. reference. Speaking Turtles. of movies, see that's what I'm saying. That's a st- that's a, that's an original stone thought. I'm going to tell you right now. Can I talk about movies ideas I have on here? But then they can't be stolen, right? Is that a thing? I got yeah, movies. once it's out and on the web, on the line. Is that, is that a real thing? 100%, bro. But like, what if I'm giving off this concept and then someone's just going to take the concept of it? Dude, you know? remember... Steven Spielberg just steals your shit. Remember back in the day when there was five movies that came out were all the same fucking premise? But all right. They were all different movies. So well, they used to make movies. I don't mean to cut you off, but they used to make movies black back to back. Yeah, Volcano, Dante's Peak. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, they would come out like, all right. like right natural disaster movies. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the day after tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, what was the other one? So Twister. I already, I already had that <laughs> movie. So basically, all right, man, I, I can go deep into the stones. So. Oh, bro. And I'm driving to work. And like, are we going to movie ideas right now? Let, let's hear this movie idea. I kind of want to get into it, but I don't. Is so, it the right. one about the dreams? Oh, no. Indeed. So this one, this one was just Me basically. We had a good one the other. Because oh, you just brought it was that like up. Inception. It was good. And there's, it's a two-part movie, right? 
A two part. Like, you're already like, planning like a sequel. It's going to be yes. such a big hit. So, and that's what I like. I, I guess I already killed. There's it by plenty of movies that. that were shit that have sequels. <laughs> the first one would come off. Benchwarmers two. Where it would be yeah. like a, a family or like a, like a disaster. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have some kind of like um, event, and in this event, it would be the movie. But in the bigger picture, it would be so. Like imagine. You have your family and your, your friends, and and it's the so normal the day gonna thing. Be called? Just imagine. You could call it that, I guess. <laughs> Bro, you are the worst fucking salesman I've ever. No, you, he's you, the you, best, but you, worst. You because start you start on a point, then but you by the switch. end, it's gonna, I'm, you're I'm gonna not gonna me. lie. I was a little thrown off with, with the little muncher. <laughs> so My let's start this over. Is what is this movie? Is quite? All right. So, so the movie would be, you know, you have your family, the normal thing. There's a disaster. It shows like the the fellowship of the people. Why don't you get excited together. a little more about it? I you know. Sounds like you're about to fall asleep telling the your <laughs> own movie. Hey, Frank, and then let's some shit pretend. Are... All right, you just watch. <laughs> 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 then they all take Ambien, um, try and stay up as long as they can, and then and fuck. <laughs> I, I'm pretty fucked up right now, and I wasn't planning on even getting into all, all right, this. you just walked into the all door. Right, so Knock on the door. Hi. Come in. It's open. Sell us your movie. Come on in. Hi. Hey. How you doing? I'm <laughs> Jeff. I'm Sean. How, how you doing? This is Sean. He's nice our VP you. of uh, Extraordinary Events. Um, I heard you got a movie idea. So sell us on this movie. Damn. Okay, get the fuck out of my <laughs> office. <laughs> I just say it like I feel like getting put on it like it was just something that I wanted to bring up a conversation. If I needed a sales pitch, I would have presented well, it. I thought we were gonna go in the pretend world. It is pretend world, so it's we're it's, just imagining right now. It like goes into like national disaster thing where it pulls anyone together. Pick anything. It's a fucking volcano. It's a fucking Well it's your movie, so what's the disaster? I'm guessing okay, I'm guessing there's a there's a dad, correct? He doesn't really see his kid much. It's his weekend to get the kid <laughs> But he can't get the kid, and then things start going wrong. So he spends the whole movie trying to get to his ex-wife and the child. To get to his kid. Yes, and they do get together, right? right. So and like, then they battle everything together, and then come out, and the dust settles. Above all. And then this the movie was called <laughs> San Andreas <laughs> with the rock. So, yeah. This is about every movie. All right, Dante's yeah. Beat. It, that's what volcano. it is. It is. Everything is an original. So you put whatever you want to put. It, you know, whatever disaster. So let's say, let's just say you take that movie, like you said, with The Rock or whatever. Yeah. And at the end of that, now a second sequel comes out that shows that that was... Um, you just want movies to continue. You want the... To, no, like, this, after all the big lovey-dovey and everything, you want to see what happens after. Do you know what I want to no, see? No, this was going to go to a totally different... Can I tell you my movie idea quickly? Go for it. It's going to be called Jesse's Revenge. Jesse from Fast and the Furious survived that shooting. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up from a coma. <laughs> and he wants to get the team back together? Yes, and he hunts down his old team because no one visited him in the hospital. Oh, so he murders everybody. So Jesse's coming for Vin Diesel Whoa. and the rest of the crew. Did he, did he him recruit? and Vance, that other guy. that Leon? <laughs> Leon has never been <laughs> there in There you go. <laughs> so Jesse and Leon. Yeah, what happened to them? Are, are hunting down the old team. Leon, go! I feel like that was pretty good. <sighs> Wrong way, pizza boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so the movie, like I said, would end in some kind of thing like that. But then the second one would go into like where it was like... The like fi- the the world like fighting. First, the first movie was no 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 like world fighting. Yes, no 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 no. It did happen, and it shows like so the first movie it shows was... people coming together in like the United States, and then it would show like the United States fighting with some so other. So it was a global disaster. Right, right, well, and then was... everyone came together, and then the United no. States saved the day. No, it was just something that happened like in the United Independence States. Day or Red Dawn. <laughs> I loved an Independence Day when. When How about every, this is everyone everyone's getting attacked and everyone's just like sitting around and then the Americans came up with a plan and the guy the one guy from Germany is like it's about bloody time. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is coming like up with a plan. Like everyone's just <laughs> sitting around waiting Whoa, for America. What do we do? Come on, America! What the fuck? Y'all didn't know. America, where do you come up with your shit ideas? <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking aliens. Laser beams. Fuck. 
So that's what I'm saying. Like it would go into that. Blew up my vodka store. Where it started in a national disaster or whatever, where it was something like the United States, and then like all of a sudden it would be like the second one would be like you know you and another country fighting and like how showing like we're both humans. You know what I'm saying? Who would before it just shows people and love and family. Then it goes into like we're all humans, and then the third one you got to bring aliens in. So so the first one will be in theaters, and the next two would be straight to DVD. I'm guessing yes. Steven Seagal all right. is going right, to be in all three. <laughs> second book pitch. You ready? Here's my book now in 30 book. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A day in the life. I'd go around and interview people and follow them around and every different fucking, every, every basically page would be a different story or every chapter would be a different story of like a hundred different people that do different jobs. See, now I've had this idea before. Oh, <laughs> I'm stealing your idea? Now you're stealing my idea. See? Stone Zone, Well, you bro. said it first. Like you really thought, because we've I never thought, talked about that. I thought of a, a great idea for like a YouTube page would be uh-huh. you go around and show people every day right no no no. you homeless people so you would take them you would take them to get new clothes and their haircut and clean their beard up. you clean them up and then you would take them to dinner and then ask them like how they got in that situation it would just be an emotional like, yeah roller coaster like you're trying to change like that but that would be cool to do like if you were to see more people doing that they do where they got the guy off. takes the guy takes a homeless guy to get haircuts and stuff but right. that's like basically it they don't like really dive into this guy's story background and life. Get, right let him explain and maybe what got you to this point and sometimes that's what people need though is someone to talk to and get things up so like a lot of these people that go and see therapists they don't really need a therapist you know what they need they need friends and family to talk to someone they could open up and feel comfortable with that's what like i do join with gangs. you guys and Right, because <laughs> they want to I mean? be. I mean, honestly, be, they yeah, want to be part, be of, a part of something. You want to have someone that you feel is there for you. Like I know you guys are there for me. Like maybe some people in life don't have that, and that is, you know what I mean. What inside they're lacking. Of my elbows were sweating. The inside of your elbows. <laughs> yeah. Where I pinch that beer case. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus you are a talented, talented man. <laughs> so just go listen see, to episode he, three. He I, did that because he wanted to have our love and respect. I, he was showing off. I watched a couple movies. I think. Hold on one second. Go he ahead. is subliminally are you giving us book? messages. Yes, I'm buying it. And after this is done, I'm going to give you the biggest hug I've ever given you. As I, I <laughs> trust me, I'm reading your signals here. <laughs> You're crying for help over there. <laughs> I don't need help. You guys are both going to get a big fucking hug from me. I think you're Only if it's with your mouth. I love you guys. Yeah, I love you too. I love our listeners. I do too. I've never met some yet, but I was in a fucking say, A. You I know think what? I've only met our listeners because I think it's only friends that listen to how stupid we are. No. And they just know They just know that this is the average. I No, I disagree with you. When people come over, I say I mean, you, you can listen to any podcast you want as long as it's the job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. You remember those guys we met in Brazil? But I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had that street race. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'm telling you, bro, these are all people we've met in our time. There's probably the people that were, like, following me should on MySpace. We, we should hire a private investigator and try and track down Victor. <laughs> oh, guy you're... from fucking Mexico. That, that dude's dead. That dude's, sure? dead. that dude's dead. Are you sure? That dude's dead. Oh, dude. How dare you. <sighs> that dude might be dead. He might be. <laughs> and if, and Go that, listen to episode well, I knew four. that he was uh, departed or de- departed. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> departed. He, he might, might have been departed. departed. <laughs> he might be departed. The name Everyone of the got guy. shot in the head in that movie. If you didn't know, <laughs> yeah, they all dead. What did I tell you today? We were playing what drinking game were we gonna play? Oh God, I was watching <laughs> Lethal Weapon. You're like every time that fucking. You have to do a shot every the time. jazz horn. Every, you have to do a shot every time you hear a saxophone. <laughs> the jazz horn. The jazz horn. That's what it was. The jazz horn. The jazz horn. <laughs> the fucking saxophone. <laughs> Motherfucker. I said saxophone earlier. <laughs> the jazz horn now. Did you pull it under the sleeve of your jacket? <laughs> Play us a <laughs> saxophone. <laughs> Give me some jazz horn. Oh, Type that in. Horn. Type in jazz horn on the internet and see what comes up. That goddamn Kenny G's a wizard on that <laughs> jazz horn. Get your flute and get the fuck out of here. It's a saxophone, bitch. 
Anything you blow in that you gotta use your fingers. Wind. Break it just calls it. No, he just calls it a jet. <laughs> Everything's a jet. <laughs> except for the rusty, except for it the rusty trombone. Jazz, <laughs> jazz, jazz, it's a jazz horn. It's a jazz horn. Jazz horn. Hey, honey, you can jazz, jazz horn. A <laughs> what? Oh, a rusty jazz horn. You know, you eat my ass and jerk me off. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. God, I'm gonna get so much shit. My daughter's in here. <sighs> <sighs> oh god, this is this is what we uh This is real life though, you know what I'm saying? The jazz horn. It's a fucking saxophone. I saxophone. I, I guarantee you go anywhere and you have a jazz horn, someone's gonna know what that means. <laughs> what knows what it no, means? No, because they could be like, you mean the jazz flute, like from Anchorman? <laughs> yeah. See? So, goddamn. Anyway, if you're watching Lethal Weapon, anytime you hear saxophone. <laughs> the jazz horn. <laughs> the jazz horn. <laughs> from now on, it's always jazz horn. This so. is how stuff starts, and then 10 years later, we're talking about it like retards. Just, oh, you jazz horn? The hell's it? Jazz horn doing here. Jazz horn. That's a new t shirt. That's a new t shirt. Pounce on Jazz horn. Jazz horn. The so, best jazz horn player of all time. And then I'm putting the, the picture Lost of Boys. Fucking <laughs> 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 shirtless. Oiled up to Grease. fucking perfection. Grease. You think I can get one of those earrings that have like the chain <laughs> and the cross on oh, it. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I always thought Lawrence Taylor's fucking earring was a lightning bolt. The LT? <laughs> what is it? It's LT. It, is, it does say LT? It's an L, then the T kind of comes off the bottom. I always thought it was a fucking lightning uh, bolt. Actually, it's just the same I logo so as this crack that he bought. <laughs> <laughs> if it looks crack. like this, I want to smoke it. Blue I'll magic. have some of that. So, Green all right. Magic. I watched this movie called Midsummer. And how Everybody, is it spelled? When does it take place? It's not spelled. If it's you're not Google spe- Midsummer. It's Good spelled S O M M A R. I believe. Summer. Meet summer. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a, it's a movie about summer. it's a movie about college kids that go to Sweden to this commune. Yeah. And I'm like. I, I was told by multiple people to watch this movie. I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, I'll sit down and watch it. And I watched it sober, which was the and biggest mistake. said it was mistake. good? Hold on. Was there a bunch of people that got killed? Yes. I think I I when going through the list of shit and just watching previews. Oh, no. It's where, like, they're on an island type of thing? No, they're or, in a commune. They're, or, so it's like right. they're in the mountains. You're saying shit that I don't know what the fuck a, that a, is, a, all right? A, a commune, <laughs> meaning, like... An English <laughs> motherfucker, do, do, do you use it? Like, like a, where a bunch of hippies live is yeah, a common. Right. They're not an island. Not an island. Sex tent. So, at seventy-two years old, in this commune, you die. They, you kill yourself basically to not give joining. yourself to the har- har- uh, the harvest. Not so what they do is they. I'm out. They, <laughs> this is just one of the scenes in this fucked up movie. They go up to this fucking cliff. And they have these fucking stones there, and they cut their hands. And Wait, the stones are fucking? They are. They are. Fucking They're stones. fucking stones. But there's these... The mountains are fucking, too? Yeah. There's these stones that have, like, these hieroglyphic writings on them. And this old lady walks up. They cut her hand. She, like, puts her blood on the stones, walks over the edge of the cliff, like, does this weird dance thing, and then just face plants off this fucking cliff. And they show it, her head smashing into a rock, so it's disgusting. Mm. Then... <laughs> The old man does the same thing, except he goes straight down and lands on his legs and snaps both of his legs. So the people come over with a giant fucking mallet and smash his head. Then they burn him and they put the, their ashes on this fucking tree. And this is the beginning? This, this, is like, this is like 20 minutes into the movie. So I'm watching this movie and I'm sober, which was the biggest mistake in my life. And I'm like, how am I going to... Why do I got to keep watching this movie? Everybody tells me about it. They're... You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Don't, don't do, do yourself it. a favor because it is. Why is everyone so uh, jazzed about it? I don't get it. It's shot beautifully. The, the scenery is beautiful. The 
I mean, the camera shots. Are, are shot this doesn't beautiful. sound like the movie I was talking about. This was a movie like where like these kids were all there, and then some dude went nuts with a gun and started no, killing people. No, not at all. And they were like trapped, and I was like, <laughs> I was high as fuck. Like this is way too intense to be watching no, something like this. No, this this. But movie, that sounds pretty intense too. I don't want to be watching people. Just, it's it it's almost like an Amish community, but way crazier. See. I'd like to live in an Amish community, but just not have to do anything Amish. <laughs> so they'd boot your ass out. Yeah, Frankie's is living that, there. He's that, got that, cable. He's playing the Xbox. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck, man? We got to put this barn up. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. What time you want to put up the barn, Frankie? I'm thinking like one in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> one past never. <laughs> I got a fantasy football draft. <laughs> 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 Are you going to make it to the barn? <laughs> I'm not going to make it to the barn raising. I got my draft. <laughs> no one just leaves in the middle so, of a barn race. So yeah, that that movie. It, I got done watching. Did it, it change you? No, it it, it was like the movie O for me. Yeah, no. I was like, oh Jesus. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, the, the only Christ. thing. Oh, the, fuck did I just watch? The only thing it changed for me is I'm never going to fucking Sweden, going to a commune and hanging out. It's one thing I'm 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 upset and regret, man. I know I got regret n- or nothing or regrets nothing, but man, we should have backpacked through Europe when we were younger. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> no. I'll just watch Euro Trip. Yeah. <laughs> no. Go? no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch Euro Trip. I'll just watch Hostel and watch some people get fucking murdered at the front. I of really scene. don't have any desire to travel to like other countries. Europe. The Leaning Tower. No. Like I just I What about like paradise? I, if I'm gonna travel I wanna go to like a beach. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Have some margaritas. I just I wanna I wanna see amazing. I want to see. I don't want to look at it in a picture. I want to see them all. Right. Fucking I want to look out and see like a Amazing. crystal blue ocean. Yes. That's waves. Where I can look straight down and be like, oh, fuck. I don't care to be bombarded by 100,000 people trying to look at the same thing. No. Okay. And then you're on some tour guide and the lady's holding up her fucking card. But then how do you find those spots? You can't. You Basically, what, what it's, it's going to come down to is you're not even going to need to travel anymore. It's going to be VR, virtual VR. reality VR. tours. You know, put on the headset, and you're gonna be able to walk through some famous shit. Look up and see all the Ninja Turtles paintings oh my on the God. ceiling. The Ninja Turtle paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Michelangelo's painting. There's Leonardo and so, Toto. Where, if you won the lottery, you had unlimited funds. Where would you live? Where would you finish off your days? Mm. Finish off, so I'm like to the end. Yeah, you you've, got grandkids. You've, you've done and they all. You come down and visit. Yeah, you've done all your traveling. You've went all over the world. You've seen all the things. This you've seen the sites right you wanted here. to see. Florida. Do you really? Uh, Segway. So much rain. <laughs> I want to move there now, but then it rains all the time, and I hate when it rains. So that's a good question. I don't know. W- I would Would you rather have Tennessee? beach or mountains? Beach. Beach. North yeah. Carolina. Come on and raise up. I ain't never been there. <laughs> so I don't even know. You just want to take your shirt off. What if we just travel to all these places and check them out first? <laughs> like a helicopter. See, that's another thing, though, too, is you could travel to all these places and still never know what it would be like to actually live in that community or area. Or right. That. You know what I'm saying? To know your neighbors. Well, right, well I'm just saying. Hey, like, Timmy. Oh. Getting milk again? Tommy. So. Yeah, the twins, Timmy and Tommy. <laughs> Powerball right now is $400 million. I don't even want that much. I really don't. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I wish I did win $400 million so I could <clears> give $300 <throat> million. Well, I wouldn't even get that much. But still, the $200 million I got, I'd give $100 million away to charity. To fucking St. Jude's. Something and, for kids. Yeah, right. Just Or would you start your own charity? I don't know. I don't, honestly, to be to be truthful, I don't know anything about a fucking charity or what, or what I'm doing. I'd like to just give it to someone who knows what they're doing. So what, would you look at I, one like, like you said, St. Jude's? Yeah, but only because I know that they don't give Why wouldn't parents. you invest it and then make more money and then when you die? I would with the other hundred million. <laughs> I'm going to be fine with that. Trust me. I, I, I I'm going to be honest you. with you. I, I would donate to charities, but I would also, in the town we live in, I would build a fucking community center. So you'd have your, you know, basketball, le- your recreational basketball leagues, your recreational baseball oh, leagues, yeah. and all that stuff. Some to actually get air- kids outside, yeah, right? To get the kids outside, to get to Healthy have them play in places, to 16. have them live the lives that we lived when we were kids, right? Not behind, like we just said, technology and VR and 
Almost, baby. Virtual reality stuff, like. Yeah. And yeah. and then I would also have a hundred acre fucking. Oh God, I'd have. So I'm saying I'd have so many properties that would be two hundred thousand properties. They wouldn't be a two million property. I would have a hundred acres, and I'd build four houses around a man-made pond where my friends would have a house for the rest of their lives, and they would never have to work again. But where would it be? It would that be was in, the question. In all honesty, <laughs> the hundred acres would be here. Here? Really? Here. Fuck. You'd want to deal and with maybe that. for like just... three months out well, of the year, right? <laughs> Summers, we're going <laughs> back. Well, no, well, no awesome, man. because I, then I would find a place like in Vegas where you don't have the state tax, and I'm not going to get raped on taxes. Vegas, though, too. Like I don't know, they got like rattlesnakes and scorpions and oh, shit. Fuck. I was watching I some really video about like s- snakes around the world. Fuck snakes, bro. Why fuck. are we gonna talk about snakes? I seen like I they're, they're like fucking, snakes. there's a snake coming out of this dude's hood. <laughs> They're driving, and then there's another one where there's a fucking snake that like comes out, dude, of the fucking ceiling fan. There's a snake in my boot, I'm and not, I'm just like, I don't no want to live anywhere like that. Fucking way. I know when I'm at my sister's in Florida, and there's like all the fucking lizards and geckos and shit on the patio, and you're just like, it just like crawls right off your shoulders. Spiders, down man. You see these motherfuckers? They're like the size okay. of frying pans. So, like, get fucked. So now yeah. you understand why I'd rather stay here, where I know what the animals are. Yeah, but I think I would want to go a little. There's got to be a south. spot. You could travel in the winter. There's got to be a spot. What do you think? Atlanta? 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 No. What do they got? So I'm saying a little. What north. do you mean no? Be- Tennessee, Kentucky. No. You ever watch HGTV? You see the properties <laughs> these people are buying right. in the Atlanta? They're cheap. Build a mansion. There's I'm like, God, that house got to be like a million dollars. And they're like, 250000 I'm <laughs> like, what? Yeah, there's, but I mean, there's, but there's no work out there's there. There's plenty. You, you, you have unlimited funds. You don't have to worry about work. Oh, no. I'm just saying, though, why he's, like, we're talking about, like, why this stuff's so cheap. and It's got to be so some hard. kind of work. Someone's buying the houses. Yeah, yeah, I guess. They work for Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. That's Georgia. Georgia. You be a truck driver for cola. There you go. And a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> at the roller rink. I got this three hundred thousand dollar house and a DJ sale. That's a three hundred dollar <laughs> head, bitch. <laughs> no, it's. I like this area because we're you know an hour away from Milwaukee, an hour away from Chicago, an hour and a half away from Chicago. Centrally located. Hmm. Taxes aren't fucking killers. <laughs> I thought about this. A I, lot I like recently. the Midwest, but I yeah. I've never really lived anywhere else. Right. So I don't know. And that, that, I'm not, not, I never I lived in Montana or California or Florida or Texas. I, I, I would have no problem moving away and going somewhere, but I realistically would miss you guys. Like, doing this. If you have that much up, money, you better be taking our ass. No, no, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know how to get that. But, like, right now I have the opportunity to, like, use money to buy a new place, and I can buy a place anywhere, and it's like, I really do want to buy a place somewhere else at the same time. Like, dude, just think about it. I could buy a house in... I heard Puerto Rico's got stuff for pretty cheap right now. There you go. Yeah, because they just had a fucking hurricane and a 9.0 fucking earthquake. It's time to invest. <laughs> Now's the time, bro. I could build The market's up. low. I could build up. We could buy that house we were just talking about. The three of us could have our own pond right on the east coast of uh, some island. Right, and then we can make Frankie's movie down there. <laughs> Puerto Rican dreams, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> Part one, two, and three. <laughs> it's like shark, Sharknado meets fucking Fuck Simple you. Jack. <laughs> Duh, I love Tropic Thunder. I, 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 I fucking, I don't even know anymore. All right, I, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> Puerto Rican Dreams. I, I was going to call it Jazz Horn. There you go. <laughs> That could be the sequel. I like Jazz Horn. I'm voting it. Puerto Rican 2, The Return of the Jazz Horn. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is we need to take a vacation. Fucking. So when you get your Supra and we could drive down Highway 1. <laughs> oh, we almost made it. Highway 1. <laughs> a Supra. Frankie yeah. talking about a Supra. So. Do I always talk about Supras? Yes, every yeah, podcast. Every podcast you bring up. You bring up Supras and snowboarding every <laughs> fucking podcast. Neither one we do. No. <laughs> Ever. No one does it. No, there's people that do it. So, what I want is one of those... A Supra? No. I want one of those Mercedes uh, panel wagons. 
and they convert them into fucking campers and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So if I ever won the lottery, what I would do is I'd get one of those and go drive around the country. Free me candy. and my dog. <laughs> Free me, candy. No, me and my dog, that's just what we would do. And I would hit every state while my house was getting built. That's what I'm saying. I and leave you guys here in charge of getting the houses built. Big mistake. No, not at all. Yeah, you know, that's your first problem. Why? Because I'm for sure going to build a dog house that's bigger than the actual house. No, because they would all have plans for the houses. Usually I'd make sure the progress is getting done. Yeah, and I'd be like, <laughs> and plans Fra- changed. And you guys Frank- didn't hear? And Frankie, I would have a pound of weed sitting there for you, so you'd be fine. Second mistake. No. You'd be you'd be in you'd be in an airstream trailer, getting baked out of your mind, not having to worry. about I would for any sure money. be building a pole barn for the for the helicopters in the '67 old school. No, no helicopter. There would be a pole barn though. See, and this is how the pole barn. I'm not. Why do I need a helicopter? I would have a used car shop because I'd be buying like fifty, twenty thousand dollar cars instead of one million dollar car. I wouldn't buy a million dollar car. I would buy three cars. Just three? It's not enough. I would have my daily driver, which would be some kind of SUV. I'd obviously have my fucking camper van. And then I would, <laughs> then I would have my then I would have my classic. And Hold on, dude. We're still you're still all, we're giving a hundred million to charity and you still have a hundred million. Three cars I'm not, is kinda I'm light. not why how many cars can I drive at once? I don't care. There's three hundred and sixty five days a year. I would but I would build a pool barn that would have a arcade in it, a full fucking bar. Why the pool barn? You could just have a huge house. <laughs> I, I want I want a place where if you puke in it, all you gotta do is just blow it out with some fucking <laughs> with a hose. I no, don't you don't wipe it up. You just let it dry. Just and let it dry. It's it just gonna be all sawdust. <laughs> I think it'd be cheaper just to buy like an airplane hangar and just build one of those. We could just hundred million. We could just buy an airport. Right. There's a little one around here mm-hmm. for sale, right? No. Jazz Horn United. <laughs> <laughs> the Jazz Horn Ranch. <laughs> Just Jazz Horn all night long Fuck on the Yeah, we got a Jazz Horn guy. <laughs> Speaking of the ranch. Hey, Barry. I watched it. The what? I, the ranch, the new season. I Don't say nothing. It. I want to hear nothing more. But yes, the ranch is out and people watch it and... We will collaborate. Guess what? I don't want to hear nothing. I don't know. It say still has a laugh track. The fuck up. It still has a don't laugh track. Don't say, God damn, I'm going to rip my fucking ears off. I hate laugh tracks. It still has a laugh track. I can't track. watch shows with laugh tracks. Yeah, I love it. I don't care. Uh, shit. I love that fucking show. It's it's a lot more subtle than the first two seasons on the laugh track. Now there's it's like, ha, 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 I'm more excited, though, right now. I Don't get me wrong. I want to watch that this weekend, possibly tomorrow. But uh, Altered Carbon a, has a release date in fuck. the next couple of months. <laughs> Uh, Ozark, I believe, has another release date in the next couple months. Um, Let's get it, bro. I'm pumped. Drop shot. Oh, yeah. Um, and I watched the Jay and Silent Bob reboot. reboot. How was it? it it's Come good. On. It's good, but it's... Uh, what the fuck were we doing earlier? Why were we watching that? Because <laughs> you guys were eating cupcakes. <laughs> Ooh, there's cupcakes. <laughs> no, it, it, was, so it, was, it was good, but it, so it is... Oh, fuck. It's, it's an R-rated family movie, to be honest with you. I don't know any nothing more than that. The last one was an R-rated family movie, if you ask me. That was a love story. Yeah, a love that story. That was a love story. It's not a family movie. All right. Touche. Rom-com. There's a difference. It's a rom-com. Filled the cup. <laughs> <laughs> there is another scene like that. Jazz horn. He filled the cup? Did he fill there, the there, jazz horn? There is, is there a jazz horn? There's, there's, <laughs> there's a couple scenes in the movie that make me fucking crack up laughing. It's kind of like Super Troopers 2, where it wasn't yeah. the greatest. No, but I yeah, still yeah, had it. I they, played, they played the hits. You can't say you loved it. I did. I really did. Really? I, 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 I thought, thought it was hilarious. good. I laughed, but they, it wasn't. Very they played strong. the hits. No, I they thought played it was the funny. hits. Thought it was strong. Jay, they played the hits. They, you saw all the old characters you wanted. They to know see. it works. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's there's there's a the running joke in it is we're going to Hollywood, Florida. No, California. Ew. <laughs> it's the running joke. Here. See, California? one thing I'm scared about uh, in Florida, they got big snakes now for some reason. People letting their pets go. They got go. fucking those gators. Pythons. Yeah. But those pythons. So there's a show I like to watch. I'm more worried about meth heads fucking tranquilizing <laughs> gators and fucking no. them. 
fucking pythons. No. Fucking pythons. Pythons, bro. There's a show on Hulk the History Hogan lives Channel. there. You guys. 24-inch <laughs> pythons, baby. <laughs> you guys know I like the History Channel, and there was a show called uh, Kings of Pain. And it's about these guys that went through a pain index, like the book of this guy. And, like, they were going through reenacting, videotaping them getting stung. or. Oh, is that where the guy gets stung by that fucking bee that's, like, getting stung by a fucking... Yeah. A the tarantula fucking... hornet or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, there's a bunch of crazy... Sh- it was really good, I thought. Like, you know what I call that? You know what, you, you know what I call that? Hmm, stupidity. Fucking retarded. Yeah, they got paid, though, I'm sure. I don't know. Well, the hey. last... The last episode, they had a fucking python on there, and it fucked them up pretty good. Like, I was like, damn. What, they had what? a python actually strangle somebody? No, bite them. I, I think it was 16 foot. What? Yeah, they put it on a table, and the dude dangled his <laughs> arm. Could you imagine in... how bad you'd be sweating? Dude, as soon as it hit him, the one guy was, like, banging on the table. He's like, get it off. Like, dude, off. Oh. It was. It's a really good. And show. not only does it and do it that, it dangerous. fucking wraps itself around no, you. No, well, that's the thing. They had, you to death. Yes. No, you know what that show shows me? Hmm. You're fucking stupid. Yeah. Stay the fuck away from giant snakes. Okay, but all right, like that's the thing we were talking about. So, like in Florida, that's a big thing. So people get these pythons and they get them and they're three feet long or two feet long. Right. And they get them in this case and they keep feeding it because they think it's cool. But then they overfeed it and it grows to be fifteen fucking feet. And they're like, I don't know what to do with it. So they throw it outside. Yeah. And then the thing. That's just a shitty fucking pet owner. That's what I'm saying, but it's happening more and more and more where there's thousands of these now that are in Florida where they, they, they're not native to. So now it's killing population of things that it, it's fucking up the right. ecosystem. It's there. like Chance the Snapper. It's also like putting, uh, when they had the frogs released in, uh, what was it, fucking uh, Australia, and it was killing the fucking ecosystem. That's what I'm saying. But frogs aren't that bad. I don't like fucking snakes. <laughs> fucking snakes? I hate snakes. Especially on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really do hate snakes. I have a problem with them. And it's just, I know. Fucking bitch. I can't stand them. <laughs> I'm sick of these motherfucking <laughs> snakes on this motherfucking plane. Uh, is it weird, though, that I, I, I hate snakes that much and they give me the creeps and shit, but I love watching movies about snakes like Anaconda You were or all about Anaconda. Dude, because stuff like that. All right. I think you just like animal movies. No, no. All right, so Jaws is one of my favorite we movies. Time, yeah, exactly. Do you know why? Do you know why, though? Because Cause of the family story. <laughs> because we're going to need a bigger boat. But a no, big because town cop that who I came love, down to a small I love town. that it's real. That like It's not real. Yeah, there are great white sharks that could fucking eat you. Yeah, but there's not ones that go and just vindictively right, go, eat go fucking people. Continue down your animal list. You're obsessed with the movie Congo. <laughs> you Gorillas love, would fuck you up, You love right? animal movies. Anacondas. Because I think that it's relatable. Pet to my where snake. Sh- pet my snake. No. <laughs> the past. The past is a great movie. Duty, duty in the eyes. <laughs> duty, 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 duty. Okay. What, oh, all right. What about Jaws? It's, it's just, just a fact, real. It's just a realistic. Yeah, that sharks you could be can fuck in you up. The ocean. That's and why Jaws. It might like honestly that. be the scariest movie of, of all, all time. time. Right. The scariest. So I'm like I like Lake Placid because yes, a fucking giant alligator. Some of these alligators get up to 15, 18 feet. Yeah, but you like jerking off the Betty White too, so that kind of. Oh, who doesn't? How dare yeah. you? Happy right? birthday, Betty White. By the mm. way. Just think of her encouragement of jerking you off. Betty White came out before they sold sliced bread in stores. Stop she was ass. born before sliced bread. Better than sliced so, bread. So too. Betty White's the best thing. I'll slice my own bread. A hand job. <laughs> I'm just Betty saying. White. I do. I do think <laughs> though that Chaplin like megalodons. <laughs> I think that that's fascinating. That that was a creature that lived. I don't. I, it's crazy megalodon. That, yeah. Yeah. Did it's you crazy see? Don't it exist? Did you see? There's a shark in the Arctic that's 300 and, or was it? Yeah, 375 years old. It just oh. swims around the Arctic Circle. That's what's up. That shit fascinating. So what's in the Arctic Circle that I need to live the 375? You need to be a shark that. <laughs> so what's in a shark? Get me the deepest bluest. Head is like a shark's fin. I don't. <laughs> I it just. I think where it's at, it just doesn't have any, you know, predators. Right. 
It's king of the. So it's just swimming around eating fucking bait fish all day. Well, I know I understand that, but what I'm under- I want to understand is what in sharks' genetics let them live to 300. Turtles live forever too, don't they? Yeah. Forever. Well, not forever. Forever, There's ever. A hundred plus ever? year old turtles. But that's uh, wait. Still two, fucking. Do you say 200 plus year old? I said 100 plus. Year 100 old. plus. Who's who's here to tell you that that's accurate? All those people are. They dead. know, bro. It's like a tree trunk. That's you know what you're just now. That's are you saying, telling me that a tree, uh, the guy who planted the tree, if he ain't alive, no one knows exactly how old it is. No, you well, cut, you cut it down and cut the rings. <laughs> yeah, I know. You could probably tell. And you know a what? Turtle. How now old that tree is dead. If you cut it down just to yeah. find out how old it is. Yeah. They killed it. They well, killed. it died at 107. Had a good run. There's is a that turtle. a good run? There's a turtle, the oldest living turtle, still out fucking. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Turtles fuck. Turtles fuck. So what? So what do I? <laughs> turtles fuck. Turtles fuck. T u r t l e. Wow. Launching arcing ropes of jism God. all over. See, that's what I'm saying. Like Ninja Turtles, that's realistic. No, it's not. Turtles could fuck you up. Ninja Turtles are not realistic. Anymore. They were teenagers, too. Can you imagine the load <laughs> from a Ninja Turtle <laughs> jerking off? That nut rag was like a full-blown I'm, I'm not going to lie. Beach towel. I, <laughs> I seen a turtle when I was younger that was, like, fucking massive. How big? Did we enter the stone zone? Like we're that? back. Dude, I'm serious. The shell at it was, like, that fucking tall off the bar. And it was, like, that long from, like, head to tail. Its tail was Yeah, like, they got big fucking turtles. <laughs> oh, my lord. Well, look at that. All right, well. Are we going to do Florida fuckery? We'll save it no, for next time. No, the Florida fuckery was uh, Michigan fuckery this week with that lady. Florida fuckery <laughs> is leave the snakes alone. Get them out of the dam. Oh, no, Florida fuckery is get off meth. That too. Yeah, and if you see any snakes, cut their fucking heads off. That's why you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> now Fra- Frankie's going go, Frankie's going to go home and I watch a like bootleg copy of the new Dr. Doolittle movie with I Robert Downey like Jr. Like <laughs> <laughs> and just beat his dick like he owes him money. He loves animals. Is movies. it bad and to say that I hate snakes so much, I feel that all of them should have their heads chopped off by Sam. We sword. need them. That, I know. You're killing the ecosystem. Good. Look at I you. I get it. I just don't like them. And I bet that there's a lot of creatures yeah, that I'm don't Yeah, I bet there's like a lot me. of snakes that don't like you. And they bite me. I'm fine. If you if we want to keep the snakes, just can we get just rid of mosquitoes, please? keep them the fuck please? away from me. Mosquitoes Mos- can fuck off. Mosquitoes are too, a world. No, we don't. Really? What what do mosquitoes do? Pretty sure they like feed the yeah, spiders. Yeah, they feed them, that, but fuck them. Yeah, there's spiders also eat flies, shit. too. <laughs> All right, get rid of the mosquitoes. Let's I can't even enjoy the outside. That's another... <laughs> trying that's, to have a nice bonfire and everyone's getting bitten alive. I know. That's another thing is... Mosquitoes are very wh- rapey. Where do, you, where do you live where there's no mosquitoes? <laughs> there ain't many places. I don't know. Hmm. Florida's got wide open... Florida, Florida's got hummingbird-sized mosquitoes. <laughs> Look at the muncher. All right, Bella. Bella you can, can you, right. can you sign us off? Bella, can you say, thank you, have a good night? No, you're not, you can't say that? Look at that hair. Look at that hair. All right, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean, for Bella. Thanks for listening. It's been another great edition. And don't you accuse me, motherfucker. Accusers. Oh. <sighs> Accusers. And once again, this podcast is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your gentleman's den merch needs. Go out there and buy a shirt so we can buy Bella some stuff. Or me some stuff, because I need stuff. Who doesn't need stuff? Once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. And also go download the uh, Byte app. What are you tired? Where uh, Jeff will be making six second videos like it's Vine back in the day. All right. See y'all next week. Bye bye.